Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Clay from Clay's Collections and today's video is going to be a little different because partly because I have it my phone on this automatic adjusting thing and it keeps moving. I try to center myself and it <laughs> does that. It's kind of apropos for this video because this video today is about thanking you guys and recognizing that we have now been on YouTube for three years. Can you believe that? Some of you have been with me from the beginning and for that I thank you so much uh, for your support and guys watching the videos for your wonderful comments and support and encouragement and helping me to learn and grow um, through this whole process. It's been an incredible three years. Uh, when I first started this, for those who may not have heard my original story, I'll go into my story right now. Um, I had, at the end of 2019, I actually had quit working. Um, I called it retirement, even though I was only 58 years old. Uh, it was one of those things just needed to change. And why is this camera doing its thing? Anyway, <laughs> I'll scoot over this way. So I, um, you know, left full-time employment, thought, well, let me give a few months to figure out what I want to do. And I ended up <laughs> doing, oh, I'm sorry, I'm laughing at this silly device that just keeps going around and around. Anyway, um, I ended up starting reselling. Uh, um, Cindy and I have always loved garage sales, antique stores, thrift stores and picking up stuff. I had owned a furniture reupholstery business that I did part-time while working full-time for 15 years. So I was used to doing, uh, always being busy and, and having stuff and buying stuff, refurbishing it, reselling it. So I had that experience and that background. So then I thought, well, let's try this whole, you know, vintage antique items selling them individually on eBay. And I had sold a number of things on eBay. In fact, one of the two largest items I'd ever sold was on eBay. And in one sense, it was the largest physically item I ever sold on eBay was a harpsichord. And I sold that before I started this. Um, and I sold that for $1,500. So that was a great, um, you know, sale before I started selling as a professional, if you will. But, um, so that's kind of how I got started. And then somebody told me about the Goodwill outlet store that's not too far from us. So I went and visited that. And you know, this is kind of a fun place to go. And then it was much cheaper price-wise than it is now. It's consistently gone up in price by the pound, but it's still a great value overall, as you guys know. But I went there in January. So this was November when I started this you know, adventure of reselling vintage and antique items. So then in January, I'm going to the bins. But the day before I went, I actually was watching some YouTube videos on resellers. And one of them that popped up was Nicole Northgarden. So I watched her video. I'm like, oh, she's a local person. That's kind of fun. Maybe someday I'll run into her. Didn't think anything more about it. So I go into the bins, start doing my thing. And then I turn around and here I see Nicole standing by the door on her phone. So I walked up to her and said, hi, are you Nicole in the North Garden? Can't even say your name. She goes, yes, I am. So we started talking and um, and she said, you should start your own YouTube channel. I was like, okay. So I went home that day and filmed what I picked up. And um, you can see my thumbnail. I didn't even use any graphics. I just put a picture up. So <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. But that was the start of this channel. And this thing just keeps, every time, I think it senses movement. Like if I move my hands over here. Yeah. So I need to keep it in the center. There we go. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, so that was my first video. Um, and yeah, I don't think they've really changed that much. My backdrop has changed a lot. If you look in the early days, it's not nearly as many books. I have uh, thoroughly filled it with books now. My bookshelves. Um, I started out filming in this office. Then, as you guys know, in 2021, I rented space. I did a lot of videos from there, from 2021 through 2022. 
Then I started working full time again and I kind of started doing the videos from home again because that's where I am. I don't get to the shop space, which I am going to be giving up this year when my lease is up. So um, over here, come over, oh, come over to this side. There. <laughs> Why is it? <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. I might have to turn him off. He's confused. Anyway, I'm confused, but I'm finding it funny. Hopefully it's not too disrupting for you guys because I'm actually enjoying it. Anyway, but what have I experienced? What would I say um, about my experience over the last three years? And if you've stuck with me this long, thank you guys so much. But I would say, number one, I'm not in this for the money uh, or fame or anything because I can tell you over the last three years of this channel, of course, the first year I didn't earn anything because you need to reach certain milestones before you start earning income. So over the last two years, 2021 and 2022, I actually made a total of $3,000 off of YouTube in those two years. And what's interesting is 2021, I made $2,000. 2020, 2021 was 2000 2022 was 1000 So My income has been cut in half on YouTube in the last year. And that's pretty consistent with a lot of people um who aren't you know big name youtubers and why what's over there it's just a printer and books they're not moving <laughs> i'm so confused <laughs> but um so yeah it's less than i couldn't even tell you what what that would average out to be but um you know thousand dollars a year is probably what it's going to be so um which is nothing to sneeze at but it's it's, there's a lot of work, effort, and energy that goes into it, supporting a YouTube channel. So, um, yeah, you have to do it out of love, not out of, you know, necessarily monetary value. Now, that's a great incentive, but it takes a while to get there. Um, the other thing is that I realized I do not like editing videos. That's why many times you'll see my videos, I do them in one take. I just, I don't edit out stuff. I don't put funny graphics. I don't do... Um, all of that kind of stuff because it's just not my passion. I would just rather communicate the information rather than making a slick video, if you will. And there's nothing wrong with that. People do a great job of it. And I know people that love doing the editing process. Good for them. It's just not my wheelhouse and not my forte. And so you get me in the raw most of the time, if you will. Um, just unedited. <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to use this stand again because it's pretty crazy. <laughs> but the other thing that has happened as a result of this channel is that I've made some amazing connections. One of them, like with Nicole, her husband, Chris, and her family, you know, we actually do things outside of, of this, you know, get together for dinner and different things like that. So I've developed some great friendship. Other people like Dustin from McFlip and Ship, Joe from I'd Flip That, uh, um, Peggy and Norm from Crazy for Retro, you know, a lot of the local YouTubers, you know, I'm in communication and hang out with, and that's just awesome. It's It's been a great uh, experience that way. And then there's all of you, my loyal friends um, out there in YouTube land all over the world. So appreciate you guys' support. Like I say, the comments you guys give, the education you give me, helping me to learn more about the stuff that I talk about. I think I know a little bit, and then you guys pop in and have a whole lot more to share. If you know how to make this thing behave a little better, that'd even be great. <laughs> anyway, yes, it's a, it's a, I think we found it at the bins or at a garage sale. So I don't have a manual for it. So I just turned it on and this is my, actually my first time using it. I thought this little thing would be nice. You know, like if I go over here to grab a book, it'll follow me, you know, and I could do some video with that. But Apparently, it wants me to move more. It must have saw something. There must be something moved. Maybe there's a ghost in the corner or something it keeps spotting. I don't know. But anyway, I've also learned a lot about social media. Um, and that people can be extremely critical. And you have to learn to just write it out. <laughs> Sometimes I, I had literally one comment say that I am the problem of the world. And I'm... Just shake my head and I went, wow, I had no idea I had such power uh, <coughs> or that I was that important. Um, so you just 
roll with it because people just say things to say things. But also super encouraging, positive is 99.99% of the uh, comments and support. And the other, you know, having a YouTube channel is one of those things that you constantly have to be thinking about being creative. How can I change things up? How can I, you know, and they always say everything you do is content, but I'm a very, by nature, private person. I don't like having my business, you know, blasted out into the entire world. So for me to, you know, go to the restaurant and film and show you what I ordered and post that on Instagram and do this is not me, right? I am who I am. And I, I like to keep most of that private. Um, I share a number of things on YouTube that I think you guys would be interested in, but it's a lot of things that I don't because, you know, I'm just, that's just how I am. And so you get more of what my content is, which is sharing, you know, the adventures of finding things, their value, some history, if I know it, um, that kind of stuff. So that's been, you know, some of my um, thoughts. And again, would I do it again? Absolutely. I love having the YouTube channel. I love being able to share what little I know about a lot of stuff. Um, it's kind of one of those things. Um, jack of all trades, master of none. That's kind of how I feel. I know many times a lot about a little thing, a lot of little things, but not a lot about any one thing. So that's okay. That's who I am, right? It's my channel. I can do it. <laughs> Do what I want. <laughs> um, you guys have given me a lot of great positive feedback on changing certain things or, you know, doing videos on different things, and that's awesome. So again, I'm not about, you know, while I would love to have a video that goes viral and has tens of thousands of views, that's not my goal in this. And uh, you guys, I think, know that. I'm happy. And it's funny, my top video of all time is the one where I made... Uh, the corner, the cardboard corners for shipping pictures, frames, mirrors, that kind of stuff. That's my highest viewed video. And what's great is I made that several years ago. And every year it just keeps getting more and more views. And that's kind of, if you want to make money on YouTube, that's another aspect to do it is to do a, a lot of the reviews, the do it yourself um, aspect of, you know, practical things that people can use that many people would want to, you know, Google, oh, how do I, you know, fix my refrigerator? Or how do I make cardboard corners for pictures, for shipping, those types of things. And people will come back and, and watch them. They don't get old. Whereas like our haul videos, it's like if the first week is when I get all the views, I'll get a few, you know, after that. But the majority of it is always right when it comes out. So they're not ones to get repeat traffic, typically. Um, and that's okay. It's the nature of what I do, right? But it is one of the things I would like to start getting into more of product reviews and more do-it-yourselves again. So that's kind of what I'm planning this year to plan out and to schedule, you know, figure out what it is I want to do, what I don't want to do, and do some more in-depth editing. Like, I, you know, you guys saw my one on the artwork. I did the product review on the undo um, adhesive remover. Uh, you know, so more of those kind of things, just because I like them. I find, you know, that interesting and, and fun, and you guys are interested. But they're also my lowest viewed videos, because people like watching what I haul. But because I've scaled back my sales, because I'm not selling on eBay really hardly at all right now, I keep my store pretty much shut down right now, because I just don't have time to deal with it. So, so because my hands move under the camera, you don't see it, but realizing that's why it moves. Anyway, um, yeah, what was, oh yeah, just about not selling much on eBay. So I don't need the quantity of supplies that I used to to keep listing new stuff and keep things fresh. So I'm not sourcing as much. And usually when I, we go to the bins, it's Cindy and I together. So she picks up stuff for the house or, you know, or whatever and along. And then I pick up a few things for resale, but... So, with that said, there's probably not going to be nearly as many haul videos this, as far as quantity of stuff this year as there has been. Um, but life changes, and we go with it, right? So, again, thank you guys so much for all your support. 
If you watch this long, you are a loyal fan, and I thank you for that, and we will catch you next time.